His father was an FDNY chief who was killed on 9-11. And now 19 years later, Dr. Paul Barbara says that fighting COVID as an emergency room physician on Staten Island is bringing back memories of his dad and the lessons he taught him about service. His story from News 4's Jen Maxfield. I'm very proud of, of the, his efforts that day. I'm very proud of the man he was. FDNY Assistant Chief Jerry Barbara, last seen walking toward the South Tower as it collapsed. A decorated 30-year veteran, one of 343 members of the FDNY, killed on 9-11. Paul Barbara was in his second year of medical school on 9-11. His father's death strengthened his resolve. For me to go to medical school and be the fire chief's kid, it was, it was definitely something that was a, a goal of his. 19 years later, Dr. Paul Barbara is the EMS medical director at Staten Island University Hospital. When COVID-19 sent hundreds of patients streaming into his emergency room, he thought back to his dad. The uniform is different, the teammates are different, but the danger is exactly the same. It might not come at you as fire, but the people I work with are facing the same level of, of personal danger. Chief Barbara's memory is alive at his son's hospital with a patient room in the burn unit dedicated to him and a fire family transport van named in his honor. Chief Barbara's name is inscribed on multiple memorials, but his son says it's his father's bravery in the face of extreme danger that has inspired him while fighting COVID. Danger came to us right there in the patient care area. And there's a lot of parallels between the risks we took the, in these last six months. Even before COVID-19, Dr. Barbara showed he had inherited his father's quick instinct to help. Five years ago, he saved the life of a Staten Island Little League official when she collapsed at a game he was coaching. There are a lot of parallels between my father's career and mine. On this 19th remembrance of 9-11, Dr. Barbara hopes that the country comes together to fight and eventually move beyond COVID-19. I hope that we continue to work together to find common goals and common good to get people back to some level of normalcy. Jen Maxfield, News 4 New York. Mm, courage runs in the family. Our thanks to Dr. Barbara and to Chief Barbara. Reminder now that you can join us as we pay tribute to the victims and the heroes of 9-11. Our live coverage begins tomorrow morning at 826.